from fields and courts across these great United States. Get ready to count down the hottest, I mean the hottest moments in high school sports right here on the NFHS Network. This is Under Armour Highlights of the Week. Hey there, everybody. I'm Rashawn Ali, and welcome to our weekly countdown of the top high school sports highlights from more than 40 states across the country that make up the NFHS Network. Are you ready to get the party started? Well, let's do it with the winner of last week's wildcard matchup as chosen by who? You, the fans. Coming in at number five. It's Hammer Jam, which takes us to Columbus, Georgia for the GHSA Class 2A semifinals between Seminole County and Vidalia. Seminole is led by junior guard Jordan Harris, who puts his abilities on display as he knives his way through the lane. That way, Certainly, it? yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious, Jordan Harris goes in with a thunderous dunk. Uh, can we see that one more time? Rewind. Feels that way, doesn't Certainly, it? Certainly, yeah. That's just ridiculous. Harris would lead Seminole County to a win in this one and then go on to score 41 in the finals guiding the Indians to their first state championship since 1998. Up next, an incredible finish coming in at number four. We head to Richmond, Virginia, and the home court of the VCU Rams for a VHSL Group 1A semifinal between Galax and Alta Vista. has come down to a final possession. Alta Vista brings it inbounds with three seconds to play in regulation. Who will drive and throw up the jumper for the win. He got it. He got it. And Alta Vista will play for a title once again. Senior guard Michi Malbach hits the clutch winner in the lane to send his team to a third straight state championship. Alta Vista would go on to win in the finals and clinch the three-peat. Our next highlight takes state champion to a whole new level, coming in at number three. Auburn Hills, Michigan is the location for the MHSAA Wrestling Championships. Whittemore Prescott's Ryan Prescott is to go out with a bang in his final year. Not only is Ryan looking for his third straight Division IV title to complete an undefeated season, but the senior has not allowed a single point all year. His challenger, David Robertson from New Lothrop, is the only wrestler that stands in the way of a state or possibly even a national record. The perfect season will end but not with perfection through pins. A great year for Ryan Prescott. Robertson, an awesome opponent in his own right, is the only wrestler this season who has gone the distance with Prescott. What an incredible season and unforgettable high school career for that young man. Go Ryan, go Ryan. Speaking of go, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more highlights of the week right after this. William Shakespeare said that all the world's a stage, and men and women are merely players. Hey. But Mr. Shakespeare never met Stephen Curry. Ni hao, the guy who was in the gym every dang day. Patriot Saint, I'm the underdog, the league's most unguardable player. Bang, he knocks it down. So my apologies to Mr. Shakespeare, because onto the stage of mere players enters the babyface assassin. And he's about to write his own story. Fall back. back, back. Welcome back to Under Armour Highlights of the Week on the NFHS Network. I'm Rashawn Ali. Time now to dig into the NFHS Network locker to take a look at one of today's top athletes from back in their high school days. It's 2012, and in the Golden State, Kelsey Plum has developed into one of the nation's top junior point guards. After putting up 23 points in the semis, she leads La Jolla Country Day to Sacramento for a CIF Division IV Finals date with Salesian. And in that game, she would go plum crazy. She would score 32 points and finish 10 of 24 from the field, including 45% from behind the arc, tying a D4 championship record, hitting five three-pointers. The Tories went in blowout fashion 72 to 41. Plum would go on to be named Division IV Player of the Year in California. You can catch Kelsey still doing her thing this month in the NCAA tournament. She's currently among the nation's top leading scorers, averaging just over 22 points per game for the Washington Huskies. The countdown continues as we stay on the hardwood for number two. We head to the Bayou State for the Louisiana High School Athletic Association 5A Girls Semifinals 
between New Iberia and Walker. With a score tied at 49, Walker looks to hold it for one final shot. They get in their offense, looking for an entry down low to leading scorer Jamie Gibson. They find Gibson in the post, and the senior makes a strong move to free up her left hand and get a shot off. Left hander is good. Three seconds, two seconds. They can't get the ball in. It's over. Walker has won the game on a spinning left-handed hook shot by Jamie Gibson. That finish would send Walker to their first finals appearance since 1977, where they would come up just shy of a state championship. Still a great year for a team that just would not quit. Coming up, it's your chance to get in the game right after this. Under Armour highlights of the week on the NFHS Network. I'm Rashawn Ali, and I've got a question for you. Are you ready to get in the game? Well, it's time for you to pick our wild card clip of the week. First up in the CIF North Coast Finals, Bishop O'Dowd's Paris Austin tosses a gorgeous one-handed lob to Ivan Rapp with a reverse dunk. In our second clip, we head over to Mississippi for the MHSAA semifinal. Callaway's Demencio Vaughn rises up to make a ridiculous one-handed finish in transition. It's reverse stuff versus high riser. To see the full highlights, just go to nfhsnetwork.com slash UA highlights and vote your favorite into next week's show. But hustle up, voting closes very soon. What are you looking at me for? You looking for something? I know what you want. You want the number one highlight of the week. Well, here it is. This week's number one takes us to Loveland, Colorado for the CHSAA Class 5A Hockey Semifinals between Cherry Creek and Dakota Ridge. All tied up at two goals apiece, these teams are in their sixth overtime period. And just as officials discuss suspending the game for safety concerns, it happens. As we see Creek make the press, that's a whip, and there's a shot, that's a score. Creek is moving on to the state championship on Saturday. Nitschen. The whip, and that threw the goaltender up. What a beautiful look of that shot, the game winner. Cherry Creek would endure yet another lengthy match in the finals where they would come out victorious after three overtimes for their fourth state title. And that's a whole lot of great hockey. Hey guys, remember, if you catch a high school highlight worth sharing, we want to see it. So send your best clips to UA Highlights at nfhsnetwork.com and tweet us using hashtag UA Highlights we might just feature your school on our show. Plus, check out NFHSnetwork.com for the best live and on-demand high school sports action anywhere. I guarantee it. I'm Rashad Ali. We'll see you next time, and we thank you so much for watching Under Armour Highlights of the Week on the NFHS Network. Take care.